Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Shannon Ashley here. I know the setting's kind of weird. So I'm filming on my phone from my car. So you will have to forgive me. Maybe I'll scoot the seat back. Okay, solid. So I know I said I wasn't going back to Trader Joe's and I was just gonna anim animate, automate my life and all of that. But me and my friends are gonna go on like a road trip to the beach. So we're in like the LA area and we're gonna go do a bonfire in Orange County. It's about like an hour, hour 15 away. So I was like, let me just go to Trader Joe's and get some snacks. So I wanna share with you guys some like fun snacks you can get for a road trip, bonfire. I gotta end up taste trying these for you guys because my friend's not here, so why not? Okay, so the first one is these dried mangoes that are actually helping hold my phone up. I'll have to show you guys that at the end. Okay. Oh, there's barely anything in here. So we have popcorn. I find that the kettle corn from Trader Joe's is so good. I actually wish they had the smaller bag. So like, I want to get popcorn all over the car, but it is what it is. Hopefully people, <laughs> hopefully it's not that bad. But yeah. This popcorn is so, so good. Like, I would be shocked if we didn't finish it. My friends are literally like, why is everything open? And why didn't I do that from the beginning? The screen just fell. These are so good. So this is like the texture. Nice and light. And like, I feel like the kernel doesn't get stuck in your teeth. That's just perfectly popped and everything. Never stale, just always right. And then I just got us some alkaline water. Oh. It's like the big bottles, but miniature size. There's four of us, so we have two extra. I also have a gallon of water in the back that I just normally have in my car. So these are kettle cooked potato chips with sea salt. There's six in here, so I'm excited to try these. My friends are gonna get in the car and be like, why is everything open? Okay. All right, next we're going to try the kettle cooked potato chips. These expire on my friend's birthday and I'm gonna see her today at the bonfire. They smell a little vinegary. Okay, potato, sunflower oil, sea salt. I don't know why I smell vinegar. Not mad at it. Just right. Just right. Okay, yeah. This is your basic kettle cooked chip. Nothing to write home about here, but I think these are gonna slap with the wraps. These are the mango slices. So I bought a pack of these and they were stale. So I walked back in and I was like, yo, these are stale. Can I get some more? Which I think it's funny that some people would just keep the stale food instead of taking it back. Like I've always, not always, but I'm now usually always that person where if like, I don't like something, like I'm gonna take it back or like, I'm not just gonna sit with it unless it's like out of like doing the most, but this, like I'm not in a rush. So I was like, you know what, take it back. The interesting thing is this is Best Buy 5-19-2022. So I'm like, these are gonna sit on the shelf for a year and they're like, I don't know. Anyways, these are kind of hard to chew, but if I was thinking right, I would have got some cashews with these because dried mangoes, and cashews are so bomb. Hmm, so good. They're gonna love these. Um, these I'm excited to try though. It is an Italian style wrap. So it has smoked ham, provolone cheese, Genoa, Genoa salami, and sopressa, sopressata dry salami with creamy mustard spread in a wheat wrap. I'm a little nervous about this mustard spread, but We'll try it. I just wanted like some wraps to snap on, snack on. So that one sounded extra good. So I got two of those. I also got this chicken wrap with pesto vinaigrette. So we'll see um, if someone wants to eat this one. And then I told you guys I got two of these. I got some napkins. I'm like, so these are dinner style napkins, only $1.99. Um, but I'll probably just leave these in my car. I was like, someone's bound to spill something. We are going to try the Romaine Harvest 
after 4.15.21. I don't know what that means because it's definitely after 4.15. Okay, let me get my napkin ready. You guys are getting the full deal right now, showing you the napkins. I think these are made of recyclable stuff. I don't know, but the napkins, very basic. Perfect for this outing. Okay, again, smoked ham, provolone cheese, Geno Genoa salami, dry salami, creamy mustard spread in a wheat wrap. A little concerned. Actually, no, if it's mustard, I don't really have anything to be concerned about. Oh, okay. Mood. The spread comes in a little container. Let's try it without the spread first. So this is what it looks like. Mm, I'm not mad at it. Very fresh. I don't really eat wraps though, so like the tortilla is a little much. Mm, very good. Very, very good. I kind of want to try it with the creamy sauce, just because you guys are here. Okay, I'm just going to dip it in. That's what the creamy mustard looks like. Mm. It's a little much. That's it right there. Mm -hmm. I think I dipped a little too much. But if you just... This is really good. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I'm just slightly concerned because I don't know what's making the creamy mustard creamy. But this is really good. I definitely recommend this Ita 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 Italian style wrap. It's kind of on the carby side though. It's, um, 780 calories if you eat both the wrap with all the mustard. Mm -hmm, baby. 34 grams of protein. Let's get it. 44 grams of fat. And 62 carbohydrates. So a little carby. I'm definitely a fan though. Okay. I'm gonna finish eating this. I think my friend's here, so I'm gonna go pick her up. Thank you guys for tuning into this. I'm sorry for talking with my mouth full. Let me know if you guys wanna see more videos. You guys are over there now. I'm sorry. I flipped the camera. Let me know if you guys wanna see more videos like this. This is really impromptu, weird, kind of. Whatever. But yeah. And then, lastly, I just got these um crunch crispy crunch chocolate chip cookies these are so good but now that i think about it i don't think these are my favorite i think i looked at my favorite ones and i chose these ones instead i don't know why these are really good though okay my friend just called me sorry okay so this is what the cookie looks like right nice and textured you can just throw it in your mouth mm. These were it. The other ones are good. They have like the, it's like a dark chocolate with cranberry, I think, or almond. Those are delicious, but these are so good. This with like, they have this really good vanilla bean ice cream. Oh my gosh. Mm. The girls are going to have to take this home because I cannot have this in my house. I usually never buy Trader Joe's snack food because... I'm just so addicted to it. I, I can eat this in a week. These are delicious. I can't remember if I told you guys this, but I got White Claw. I left it in the trunk. Um, it was like $15.99. So all the other this was $50, bucks, which I wasn't mad at. Um, it was like $35 bucks for the snacks and $20, $15 bucks for the White Claw, which is fine. Um, I think I have a receipt somewhere, though. Okay, yeah. Uh, mango slices were $2.99. Napkins were $1.99. Put this down. <laughs> um, the wraps were like either $4.49 or $4.29. Uh, the kettle corn popcorn was $2.49. The chips was $2.99. Um, the cookies were $3.99. And then the white claw was $15.99. And then the water was $3.99. So honestly, this is so much better than stopping at like a gas station to get snacks. You would have spent way more than $50. So like if you guys are driving somewhere and you see um, like a Trader Joe's and you're about to go like on a long car ride or something, I would definitely stop. So I think this concludes this um, 
shindig because I just realized my friend probably can't eat any of this stuff. So I have to go find something that she can eat. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it for this haul, you guys. Let me know what you guys like. If you guys have tried any of these Trader Joe's, I'll let you guys know how the wraps are in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.